so these are the topics i will be covering and i will let you know how many classes i need for it so for enabling and uh, discussion on the application status set i need one session okay and then uh, creating the requisition how to create the requisition uh, in through xml and also through the instance i'll be showing you both i need another session for it and then the objects what we use in the requisition uh, for example location object or a division object those things actually which comes from impulse central so we will be having a discussion on that part so we need a, a session for the, together so two sessions and i will be discussing on the rdp part okay. uh, recruiting teams comes under the inside the requisition rcm module and also the recruiting groups uh, which comes under system access that comes under rbp so i will be covering those part i will be covering on the roadmap how the roadmap needs to be created uh, if i'm not wrong you're from pmgm right so you must be already aware of the roadmaps yes so uh, it will be much easier for you so i don't have to explain much on those topic and i'll be covering that part as well uh, so it, uh, the process remains the same the same Wrote my what what you will create for PMGM. We'll be using same for requisition, so there is no much difference. It will be the same, the single approval, collaborative iteration. So it's the same base where we create for RCM as well. Okay. Uh, next, I'll be discussing about the job posting. Job posting there will be uh, internal job posting, external job posting, okay, and uh, agency things will be there. Uh, that I'll be discussing or I'll be showing you on that. I'll be covering the topics, and I'll be uh, explaining you on how to create an application XML. Okay, uh, two ways. Uh, one is through XML, and the second one is through managed templates. Both the cases I'll be showing you how to create it, and what are things involved with the application. Similarly, we have candidate profile template. Uh, this is also we need to create through XML only. So I'll be showing you working. We'll be working on that. And uh, I'll be covering the interview center. Interview center is somewhere starts once you once the candidate submits for a job, and we need to take the interview search right, for the candidate first round interview, second round interview. Those things. Uh, those things are all uh, captured in talent pipeline. Talent pipeline is something you must have already uh, aware of if you do a new application or interview one, interview two. Different. It depends upon the company, what is their requirement. So based on that, we will create it. Okay. So we'll be covering on those topics and then we'll be discussing on the email triggers. Okay. How the emails are triggered in recruiting module. Okay. And Email templates. Email templates is uh, thing with the templates which goes to the candidate or the user, the hiring manager, different persons involved in the requisition part. This is where the work edge what we paste it. Uh, it goes right. Hello, welcome to the so and so, or uh, your interview has been scheduled for so and so day. So those work edge we will be creating at this place. Another topic which I'll be covering is interview assessment. Uh, the interview assessment and also the background check. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are all the feature permissions which we have to give in uh, application so that the person who is uh, working as a recruiter, right, so that he can go and initiate the assessment or a background check for a candidate. And next, we'll be discussing on the offer template. So offer template also is one of the uh, XML, which is involved in recruiting. There are two ways of creating offer templates. One is through the XML method, and another one is uh, managed templates. In either way, we can create it. And also, there is the offer approval involved in this process. I'll be covering the topic as well. And business rules are involved in recruiting. Uh, I'm not sure if the business rules are used in PMG or more. You know, so, um, <laughs> No, we don't use business no, rules in, in PM and GM, but we use business rules in compensation, uh -huh. for example. Yes, so uh, you were already aware of the business rules part, right? 
So it will mm-hmm. be the same process. We just going to create a business so and configure business rule. But how we tag to the recruiting is the concept. What we going to learn? How we create it and how the business rule is tag to the acquisition application offer for a profile. And then I'll be covering the topic based on how do we create an agency setup. So uh, agency mm-hmm. is a third party. Uh, it's like if somebody, if an organization is having an agency who provides the candidates for job openings, uh, they need to have access right in the system. So we will discuss on how to create this agency access, how to set up it, how to provide the access for the users who are involved with the agency. Next is the employee referral. Employee referral. Uh, you you must be familiar with the employee referral word. So employee referral as an internal candidate, as an employee, if I'm working in an organization and if I see an opening within my company itself, so I can refer my friends or a person whom I know for that particular job. And we will discuss on how to set up this employee referral and how to uh, provide the employee referral bonus awards, rewards involved in this. Those are the settings we're going to talk about learn about those things. Next is the position management. Uh, uh, Since you are a bit familiar with the compensation part, you must be already aware of uh, what exactly is position management and you see. Uh, Position management is something that position is created from EC part. So once the position is created, most of the details is already present in a particular position, right? Uh, EC people must have, have some how do you say that? They'll be having some uh, based on the company requirements. They'll be having for one for this uh, company for this position. This will be the business unit, and this will be the division department based on the associations involved. So we don't have to do anything in this part. As I asked him consulting, we just have to get the uh, EC consultant know that what are the fields we we are required uh, from position or is from employer central so that it can be fetched to recruiting module. So whenever I'm creating the requisition, so I know uh, I need those fields. So we will be uh, from the person to get those fields or have those fields for us. And finally, we'll be discussing on the configuration work, but how the configuration is your workbook is captured or how it is used. So please mm-hmm. do download the RCM uh, implementation workbook uh, mm-hmm. and uh, implementation guide. Uh, mm-hmm. This workbook, you can just uh, download it from SAP help. Uh, just blank workbook should be enough. So that just for our understanding, how do we capture the configuration workbook during the requirement gathering? Okay. Yeah, and do I have it? Then. You have it right then, oh, then that's great. Yes. So yeah, the final... Final thing is, uh, we just need a notepad to use this. Uh, if you prefer to have uh, to create a XML, uh, create the requisitions or any of the XMLs through notepad to this, so we can we will walk you through how to create those. Things. Okay. So uh, all in all, it may take around ten to twelve days to complete these topics. So ten to twelve sessions. Okay. okay? Uh, uh, since you're already aware of most of the things, it would be much easier for you to understand things and also much easier for me to explain new things. So I think, uh, I don't think so. It will be much difficult for both of us. So apart from uh, all these topics, uh, is there anything particularly you want to know or you have anything in mind that you want to, uh, did I miss out any topic or uh, if you get something needs to be added, you can let me know. 